Hello, Penny and Barbara. See me wave? Yes, I did. I saw it. Look at that wave. Hi, Nancy. So this is the set. Let's see. There's only that one I didn't I didn't use. Our friendship is a thing of beauty. I could use it on this one, maybe. That's just a little a little extra that I was working on before. Not really part of the show. I sue Cruz and Sean and Nina, Vicky, Nancy. How is everybody? I hope good. So the new hostess code is right up at the top. Um, here are the wave dies. So this is just for this month. I'm gonna lose a cloud there. And these are a little bit different. And I don't know if I used them both or not. I think originally I did and then I didn't. So I don't know. I don't know. You know the old saying, we get what we get. Yeah. So those are the dies, the set. I did um, kind of copy... Let me see if I, yeah, I do. I also was trying something. I don't know how this looks on here. Let me see. <gasps> there it is. I don't know how big it is, like on your side of it. So I also printed it out. But there is, look at that. So it's got the prices on there, whether you can, oh, look at that. I can make it really big. Woohoo! Um, yeah, see, I keep learning new things with this. So, yeah, there's the set, the prices, the numbers. I'll put everything on, um, on the uh, description. I'll add it after. Because I didn't do that yet. Let's see. If I click there, it goes to the previous one. So I did a card similar to this one. And this, I still have the die that we sold a couple years ago. So I did use it. And anybody getting, um, you know, spending $50 or buying the kit this month, this will be cut for you. Uh, this one I didn't do. Now how do I get back? <laughs> oh. Hide, um, exit full screen. There we go. And I think I go back to single. Look at that, I'm back. Yeah, so, like, you can get the whole collection for $79.25, but to get just the bundle, the bundle, where's the bundle price? Up here. It is fifty-one twenty-five. So that right there would get you the kit for free. You do need the set to stamp. Um, you could substitute maybe with uh, with gentle waves. Mm, not so sure. Oh, but you also have to stamp this guy. So you do need it. If you want to be a part, you will get the rhinestones and whatever else gets cut, but you'll see, you'll see. So it's $17 shipping included. If you're going to purchase it, if you already have the set or, you know, if you're a demonstrator or if you order it from, you know, your own demonstrator and you get it free with $50 or more purchase. Waves of inspiration. All right, so let me move these. Oh, I'm going to need this. So I'll pull that out. I also use the bark folder, which cut, 
excuse me, kind of looked like waves to me. So I was uh, pretty, pretty happy using that one. You ready? Set. Hi, Gina. Hi, Linda. Card number one is that one. Oh, yeah, that's the inside of that one. And you could stamp, you know, also on the inside, even with this one, putting it down or a couple the, um, birds. I may stamp a couple birds on it later. Maybe. You know me. <laughs> so without doing a lot of layers, glue, glue is hiding, glue behind my drink. So let's put this in so it's done. And I know you guys will be fooling around up there saying funny things that I usually only catch the tail and yes waves for sure Tony T and hello to you okay so I cut out one of these waves with the paper and I didn't make myself crazy. Yes, yes, yes. You can use your sticky stuff. But I didn't. I probably won't for the class either. Because I don't know how everybody is with it. I'll surprise you one day. I'll use it on something. I'm just such a klutz with it. So just some dots will get it. You can always go back and this tip is so fine. You can get it under anything. Basically. Basically. All right. So I just put this. See, now if that was the sticky, my shaky hands would have had it in the wrong spot. And they don't shake, shake, you know, like normally. Just when I'm doing things like this. Get down there. I want you on the bottom. Okay, so then I took, let's see if there's anything left on there. I just took whatever blue you know, was on there before. Just so this would look, you know, a little different. You could even, um, you know, if you were making this on your own, you could stamp the wave and then put it through the folder. All right, so this is going to get popped up. Let's use up some of these. Get rid of the big ones first. Am I too high? Do I need to be a little lower? Come off. Ooh, I got a couple whole ones. Okay, and then I'm going to put one of those little ones. on his head.
cut off the point of that. What's the point? Okay, so that's going to go right there. And I can go ahead now that I did that part of it. Whoops. Put it on the right side. And because this is all lumpy bumpy, I, I do want to put a little extra. So Pacific Point. And um, yeah, pool party. All right, then going to stamp happy birthday in misty moonlight or you could use night of navy or you could use black or brown whatever floats the boat i got two just in case fine and dandy All right, so then what I did is I put a little, whoops, a little bit of glue and I made this whole thing look like it was a cloud. Oops, wrong side. <laughs> And that's going to go on that side. And then this one. I'm trying to cover that hole this time. So I'm putting that like at an angle. Just right along the bottom. Then I didn't do it on the other one, but I will a little bit here. Just going to edge it. With the brush. I thought of it after I had already glued it down and I could do it with a marker. This also is going to get, I want like whole ones. So if any of these aren't down real, you know, good, but they are. This will hold it a little more. If you get it on the edges. And of course, we don't want saggy bits. Think that's enough? I think so. Where's my poker? Hmm. 
Yeah, I didn't want to touch it. Oh, hi! So that's going to go about there. Okay, so then in gray, smoky slate to be exact. So you'll get four in your kit. Otherwise, I'll end up at leftovers because the die cuts two. So I'll cut it twice for each. And let's do the big one again. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. And look at that. So I have this extra, which I might use on that one that I was playing with earlier. And that, what I lose, scissor. Skizzer. So there's like different shades of blue and green. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's greener over there and it then turns into blues. So you'll get an assortment and you'll also get a half of half of a sheet. Whoa. Okay. So that is card number one. Now this one, I didn't color when I use it again, I am going to color it and it's just, you know, a little color. All right, card number two. So this is the die. So this will be done for you. I forget how many years ago we had it, but I like never wanted to get rid of it. But you could also use, um, well, you're going to get this, but I mean, if you were just making these cards, if you have a stencil, sunshine stencil, or you can actually um, cut angles and then from the middle, you know, you put them out. But who wants to do that when you can just do this? Once you get a couple of them. Bam! I'm glad I hung on to that. So this is very similar to the card that they showed. Similar, but not the same. Okay. So with some... Daffodil Delight. All right, don't get lost. Stay right there. I have my thing right here. Stay. The old pads like to move when you do that. So, I just went in a circle. Another one that needs to be re-inked.
And you could do this with the sponge. Sponge with glycerin. Ooh, that would like really get it. Now it's probably going to be in my way there. We'll see. Okay, so once you have that done, you go ahead and we can put this down. I'm busy. The noise. I had a good text from my daughter. She booked flights for the end of April. I read it so fast, I thought it was the end of this month, but no, the end of April till May 7th. But she's flying into Orlando, and then she's going to visit her father for a couple days, and then, oh, I just scared myself, like I was using the wrong side. And then she'll visit us for a couple days. They will. It's her and her husband. Yay! Something's beeping in the other room. I hope it's not like the fire alarm or something. Okay, so then I took... I'm going to use the back of this and move that. So I took the wave and I just wanted a little background on it is all. Nothing, nothing fancy. Come on, Gail, you can do this. Get on there. It's good. I know I'm going to put something on it. A fly. So, even though this is, like, not in the center, you can still take this piece. And I think it's only, it's two by three, if I remember. <laughs> yeah, two by, two by three. So, you can move that enough that it looks more like it's in the middle. Um, doo -doo -doo. Missing stuff. Wish I could do two things at once. Like read up there and... I need to get a tablet that I can have lower. And then I can read it. Because I'm a nosy person. Okay. So then this one is going to get stamped with You're So Totally Awesome. And that's also in the Misty Moonlight.
And then this piece is a half inch by three and a half. And you're just going to, and if you have the punch that does it, you know, you can do that. This is just as easy to fishtail on something that you're only making one of. That is just going to slide in like that. You can put some glue under there if you choose, but this will take care of it. That will keep it from moving. You can put one right up to the edge, so that's going to hold that steady. And of course, you want to fill it up because you don't want. I'm going to try and not do as many, and then I'll be mad. <laughs> see, I didn't fill it up. Let's see. Not too bad. I don't know, when I see people just put like one on one end and one on the other, I'm like, what? So once you have that, um, where is it? Where is it? right here and I'm gonna still use the misty moonlight because it's right here and it shows up plenty fine one down there So one is going to go there. Maybe I should have done the birds after. Oops. So remember that. Do your birds after. They're okay. It's behind the cloud. It's fine. Thought I was missing one. So one will go down here. And then the other one is going to get. Ooh. I think that will work. Let's get rid of the points. And it'll work a little better. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top. Because that's going to go right on to the sentiment, like that. So if you have a little overage, you can e either, you know, leave it or trim it down. I got sticky stuff sticking on it. Mm. 
inside. Okay, fine. Let's do a couple of And that guy all by himself. Granny Apple Green. All right, so then we'll take a couple of the greener ones. I said green. And there's card number two. All right, I want these to be where they're not going to get doity. Card number, I think I'm out of order. Oh, oh, I'm totally out of order, but you'll know. All right, we'll do this one. Who put them out of order? Who did it? Okay, so one for the inside. Even. Steven. Okay. Oh, I do need the paper for this. Okay, so this is where I'm using this one. So Penny had asked me which direction it really goes in. I always do these. Oh, I don't have the thing on it. These as the closer to you. Because I always think the waves are closer, and as you get further away, you know, if you're looking at the ocean, it's smoother. So this is going to get, and you're going to see what happens, but it all works out. Because you're not going this direction on this particular card, which would make it easier if I did that. But, but no. So... See if I could do that with this piece of paper. So it's going to miss part of that. You could stay right with me, you know, you don't have to go anywhere. Oh, little cockeyed too. So what I'm going to do, I made the other one like even darker. But what I'm going to do is take a white pencil and just make a mark. Yeah, it's not showing up. Let's use a regular pencil if I can find one. Probably not. Probably not. Yep, there it is. All right, so a mark there and 
a mark there. Not bad, not bad. So then, just going to ink up that side again. The heavier, you know, thicker side. And then you can line up those marks, which I didn't do the first time. Yeah. If you get that in the right direction, your whole piece can go over. But I'm just going to do this. Get a little ink on the back because it needs to be pretty too. And, ooh, I'm going to put you up there so you really don't get something dirty. All right, so we have that. We can go ahead. Ooh, ow, sorry. It's that stupid little gnat. tickled me. Okay, so this is three and a quarter by five, but I didn't want to put another border around it. You know how usually I do. I wanted this big brown border. Uh, where's all the pieces? Oh, here it is. Oof. 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 Okay. So now, I'm going to stamp both sayings. Bear with me. Maybe they'll both fit on this one. Scrap. So you'll get a scrap enough to do that and stamp your little guy. Soft suede. You're so totally awesome. Land on my shoulder one more time and I'll probably miss you again. Did. Unless it's a hair. I hear a helicopter. Okay, so we want your so totally an inspiration. And there's one on that, too. And then we want the totally And the rest is garbage. And then we have to take the is off. Oh, ha, ha, ha. that one that I stamped was supposed to be this. So now I have to cut one. 
Oh, what a dummy. But in yours, in your kit, you're going to have this on the one you have to cut. Little edge. If I was smart, mine would have had it too. Two and a half by three and three quarters. Dummy. Do I need to I have a piece here? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So, two and a half. By three and three quarters. And we're in business again. <laughs> All right. Don't lose them. So let me grab that piece of paper again. I know I'm making a mountain out of a little molehill. So now... We just want this end. I think I'll turn it around. Could even use that end. But you don't want that end. But you could do that end. All right. I know, I'm a pain. So now we want the misty moonlight. You could do a sponge or a dauber, whatever you have handy. And then You can get your fingers doity, or you can put a piece of paper over that. And there that is. Then, but wait, there's more. Oh, I may as well use that. Okay, then you're going to take the Daffodil Delight again. Now, if you choose, you can mask that off. I didn't think it was necessary. Because I'm like that. I'm like, so what if there's a little yellow in the water? It's a reflection. And sometimes it could turn green. You know, it's good. All right, I think I'm done with that and that. So this is going to go. Could that be the hair that was tickling me? So professional, aren't I? Yep. I could get my very professional voice going. Right. We're going to color this. I went to school to learn how to speak properly. Yeah, right. So I just grabbed SU-800, and I'm just coloring them in. Just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then I, I have light so saffron. I think it's a little too light for his beak, but I don't feel like reaching back behind me. Like as if it was so far away.
there's that gnat. Now, you can put them absolutely straight if you want to. I didn't want to. So that one's straight, and then these two have a little attitude. And then don't forget to go back and glue that one or you'll be very mad at yourself when you pick it up and it falls on the floor. So there. Okay. Now... Now for the clouds. We just need two of them. Ooh, I've got lots of them. But I want those two. So one can go off. One can go there. Up, 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 up and away. But it's not a balloon, it's a cloud. And that one's going to go there. And then we'll stamp some voids. And I think I'll do them in the blue again because the blue is handy. So I'll put one there, one there, and one there. And then we we'll get more of these. Yay! So, one there, one there, and one over there. So there is card number three. We could do a couple more in there, too. Ooh, my time. I keep losing the little bugger. Okay. Card number four. Card number four. Okay, so here is card number four. So these are all the pieces you're going to get. So the first thing, and you can absolutely do this on um, your Stamparatus if that is easier for you. I should have cleaned it, but whatever. Huh. It's fine. Okay. No, not the yellow brush. I want the blue brush. OK, 
Okay, I think that's plenty, plenty enough. Um, and why did I not cut this big enough? I am not sure. I'll cut it bigger for you. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Okay, so then you're just going to take this. Something tells me I should have been more to the end. Oh, yeah. But you know how everything always works out. And I'm going to cut a little off that tip because I can. Then look at that. Once you get that on, straighten out. I did cut the end of that off, so that's why they're a little flyaway. But I will leave yours together. Oh, the little net. Did I get you? Hell no. I must be very sweet today. Did I get y'all? Dot, 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 dot. All right, so you don't have to worry about that little white on the bottom. <laughs> don't do that. Don't rub, just pat and hold. Pat and hold. No rubbing. But like I said, I'm not going to cut yours. You can cut that after if you need to. And I'm going to take this piece right there and cut that around. Okay, so this piece is like the normal, there's supposed to be another piece. Where'd you go? All right, is it that size? No! All right, so we want that five by three and three quarters. Let's make that even. All right, so this piece goes almost to the bottom. It's like a half inch shorter. So four and a quarter. Whew. Genius. Yeah. 
like that. Then this piece is going to go whoops, down to the bottom. And it's a little short. Yeah, yours will be better. Mine was a mistake. Then it gets mounted mm, where's my rag? Right side. Paste a little piece there. No one will notice. This can even go on the base. Um, base, you're a little uneven. Okay, so when that happens, you smush it together. You then take your musher, because we don't want everything wrong with this card. Yes, it goes that way. I think I'm still going to have to trim a little piece off of there. Everything's coming up roses. All right. Look, I made two of these. Strength. So we're going to take this again in the misty. This was my favorite color. I should have done the birds in misty, but I didn't. Okay, so then we're going to give it a little surgery. That will go there as straight as you can. This one's going to get popped. I was going to grab that other one, but this just jumped right out at me. These last forever. All right, so back over this way over this way we need room for the void all right and then there should be a smaller one here where'd you go where'd you go oh there's a bird and we'll put a little bit on that And that's going to go down flat. Then we can put our, our flying birds 
There is a right side and a wrong side. So there's a one. Little glue booger. And there. And Last but not least, um, the blue again. I do have to order more of these. And there is card number four. So in case you weren't here, in the beginning, when I pulled this out, I was just playing a little earlier. Instead of, like, making sure I had everything totally ready for my video, I was coloring. So there's a card in the process. And let me bring all this back and push all the garbage. I always find it. I love it. Hey. Did I do that? Uh, how do I get rid of it? Hi. And stick that in there. Get rid of this and all of this and that. And let's bring them back. So we got that one, that one, and this one, and this one. And let me adjust the camera. Oopsie. So there they are, all four cards for the class. I hope you enjoyed. I hope some of you are looking forward to placing an order and getting it for free. And hi. Thanks, Sue. Hi, Kathy. Thanks, Sean. Penny, Leslie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. All right. So I will be back on, I don't even know what day it is. I'll be back on Sunday with You Know My Motto. I don't know what but it'll be something. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Thank you. End, end.